Hello guys, this is Lion75Y again. Um, today I'm going to show you, we're going to compare the Bow um, Spring Touch Pro 2. We're going to compare um, both versions of Windows, the older version which was 6.1 and the new version which is this one right here is the 6.5. So we're going to see from how they start, how they look, everything what Spring have done. So I'll show you guys in a minute. Alright guys, this, this is how I just turn on both phones at the same time. So this is how they look. As you guys can see, they both show different screens at the beginning. As you can see, they both got the same Sprint logo so far. So Sprint has the same logo there is a Windows 6.1 this is the new version which is the 6.5 by the way um, real quick this one and the 6.1 they had the Touch, Touch Flow 3D that's the whole interface that it looks right here. On the new 6.5, they changed the name. I don't know if it's the same. I'll, I'll actually say that it is it, you know, Touch Flow, but they just changed the name of it. On this one, is called HTC Sense. That's what they call it now, so, which I'm pretty sure you know is the same thing, so. So here is the main screen on both phones, That's, this is how it looks. As you guys can see right away, uh, the clock has, there's a different change. So on this clock, you know, it only shows like a square box. So, you know, really simple, really boring. On the new one, which is this one right here, it shows the new clock. You know, it comes like the actual, um, like the brand, like the HTC one. So... I'm pretty sure all the customers for Sprint are really happy to see this because you know we all have been waiting for this change too so we don't have to do any modifications or anything like that as you guys can see uh, on this one it shows Sprint it shows the logo on this one only shows just the Sprint name so that's a big change and also right here on the 6.1 it only shows the call history and the calendars on this one, on the 6.5, it shows the same thing, the calendar. But right here, as you can see, it shows like some quick um, programs that you guys can use. So if you slide up, it comes all these programs, which are the, I'll say, the ones that you guys can use most. You guys can also customize this, so you guys can put your own programs, the ones that you guys use more, or the ones that you like. You do the same thing with the 6.1, nothing comes up, though. You just gets a small clock, boring, with a lot of free space. So Spring has done something really good on this one. So that's the actual main page. We continue to the next one, which is for people or favorites. Um, as you can see on the 6.1, they got this version where you slide it, it slides the contacts. And now so you guys can add another one. On this one, on the 6.5, they changed a little bit, so it doesn't have the same interface with the TouchFlow touch flow 3D, but they add like some different icons. So they have done a little bit different though. And also, as you guys can see, the bar on the bottom shows much different. On the 6.5, it looks like more colorful and more, I'll say, prettier than the old one. We'll continue to the next one, which is the email. Oops, sorry. The email, as you guys can see, they change it a lot. So on this one, it shows like an actual envelope on the 6.1. So you guys flip it, it only shows like envelopes going back and forward. On the 6.5, they actually put you like an actual paper on it. So you guys can slide it. 
so that's the actual email that's how it looks now so well, it looks better on both of them so nothing really different or optional the next one the text message um, I don't got any text message but on both phones it comes with the same the same uh, feature so the same movement and everything so still the same calendar on the calendar um, they did it a little bit different so it looks more more like more texture and everything on the 6.5 which is this one right here on my right um, if I click day on the 6.1 it still got the same interface like uh, like the iPhone as you guys can see it on the 6.5 still got the same thing so that one doesn't really change but just like the screen of it so next one is the internet which they changed the icons of it on both of them so on the 6.5 it looks a lot better I'll say and on the 6.5 it also create this the shortcuts or the um, or the links that you always go to like the favorites so they actually put you like an actual big screen or a big icon of each of each favorite that you have chosen on the 6.1 it only shows like bars so as you guys can see there is YouTube only they removed that one from the 6.5 that they left it as a program only so it's a little different 6.5 I'll still say is much better than 6.1 I mean it looks a lot better um, the next one with the pictures you guys can see still got the same the six um, still got the same slide so still the same on the 6.5 so still same features doing it so then it comes to music on the 6.1 I don't know if you guys remember in like some videos you guys have seen before or if you already guys have the actual um, 6.1 windows on the touch pro 2 so that's what it so that's the actual it's pretty music that's how it shows on the 6.5 they change a little bit so they got um, different kind of slide um, I'll show you guys in a second like that one I don't know if you guys can see it so it shows a, a little different on how um, the albums slide it's a little bit different this one didn't really change much but they just got the play button and the forward or backwards um, button a little bit different but still the same spread navigation is still the same nothing changed on it just the actual skin this one looks more darker or black around it than this one is like all gray but I mean on this one it haven't changed nothing at all so it's still the same Sprint TV is still the same too though uh, they just changed kind of like the format how it looks on the outside which is part of the background of the touch flow uh, but I mean it's still the same so nothing has changed on the weather does it they actually change some stuff because I mean on the actual weather um, on this one you have to set up your your city and everything so on this one not all the cities are listed in your device so you're not really able to see which you know your actual city where you are located at but they um, Spring have done something really cool on the 6.5 which is um, they use your GPS tracking device so wherever you go to and then if your phone tries to synchronize it will get the actual location of where you're located so it will tell you the actual um, weather of that location where where you are located at though and then you can still add your other cities that you plan to see or family members or whatever 